sometimes forget that when the economy picks up speed, that's great news for the garbage business. More commerce and construction almost always equals more trash. Which brings me to Waste Management, the number one garbage disposal company in North America. Yesterday, Waste Management reported an excellent quarter, arguably their best quarter, according to the company itself, since a big merger they had, and the stock surged up nearly 5%, and that's a move that continued today. These guys delivered a two-cent earnings speed off of an 88-cent basis, higher than expected revenue, up 4.8% year-over-year, robust guidance for the full year. More important, Waste Management, which is owned by my charitable trust, you can follow along at ActionLearnsPlus.com Club, gave us some robust commentary on the conference call, talking about strength in the core business, rising margins, fabulous free cash flow, up 18%. That's gigantic. And despite some worry about the hurricanes hurting the numbers, Harvey and Irva only shaved, they, they just shaved the point off the company's earnings per share, and they're going to get that back. Now, Waste Management's given you a nearly 30% gain over the last 12 months. It's up here, yields a little, little bit less than 2.1%. Uh, Very attractive. Clearly looking good. Could the stock have more room to run? Let's check in with Jim Fish. He's the CEO of Waste Management. Find out more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. Fish, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good have a see seat. You, Jim. How are you? This was some quarter, and... I, I, you know, it's a total tribute to you. There were actually people who were saying, well, you know, recycling's going to hurt them, and there's Chinese problems with taking recycling, and some people were saying you weren't going to get pricing. Yeah. It came together like I've never seen. I mean, why were some people so confused given how strong the quarter was? I, it's a good question because, I, look, we've had a good year. I mean, yeah. it's not as if this came out of nowhere. We've yeah. had a good year. First quarter was good, second quarter, and, and we had a good uh, 2015, 2016. So... This didn't just come out of thin air, but it all seemed to come together in, in well, Q3. Well, let's talk about what happened with the hurricane, yeah. okay? Uh, a lot of people felt, well, a hurricane, that's waste management. But you explained that it's FEMA. But that doesn't mean you don't benefit in the end. Right. Well, we benefit typically on the disposal side. Right. FEMA does the collection for the mm -hmm. most part, and, and we get the disposal at the landfills. What's happening right now, uh, predominantly in Houston, is that they've taken it off of the, these residents' yards and moved it very quickly to these temporary holding areas. So we didn't see much benefit. In fact, we actually saw a penny, uh, as you mentioned, decline right, okay. in the quarter. But we will see the benefit in Q4 and, and potentially into 2018. Now, I've been to one of your landfills. I know this is going to sound silly, but it was actually quite clean. <laughs> True. I mean, it's a very well-run yep. operation. That's a great business, the landfill business. Absolutely. Isn't it? And they bring the trucks, they weigh the trucks, and then they pay. It's instant, right? It is. Well, I mean, look. The landfill is, and they are they are clean. I mean, we do a yeah. nice job uh, maintaining those landfills. Mm. They are a very clean business for us, and it's a fantastic business. We get paid a tip fee uh, on the front end, and, and really the, the cost structure there is, is largely fixed. The variable cost structure is very low at a landfill. Now, you also are doing some things that I find very exciting. Uh, at one point, you talk about how you, have ca you need capital expenditures just because you're growing the business. Yeah. You're putting people to work, and you're buying trucks. Yeah. Well, the CapEx this year is going to be up versus yes, last year by a couple big, hundred million right? dollars. So, we're, you know, free cash flow is, is, was up 18% for right. the quarter, and not because we cut back on CapEx. CapEx up is uh, going to be up $200 million for the year off of a 1-3 base last year. Uh, you also are doing something with uh, the CNG, which uh, is right. actually, I didn't know that it was actually cheaper and easier to maintain than diesel. It is. So not only, and, and the, the, the obvious part about CNG is that your, your cost of fuel is, is a bit lower right. on a per equivalent, equivalent gallon basis, mm -hmm. but, but they are cheaper to, uh, to maintain. And, and we've been kind of comparing year over year um, diesel versus CNG, and we're finding that there is a pronounced difference in the cost of maintenance for a diesel versus a but CNG. that wasn't always the case. Ten years ago, the CNG trucks cost more, and they didn't hold up as well. I think the technology has progressed to a point where CNG is, is now a, a really good vehicle. So we like investing in CNG. We're about 45% now, and we will ramp that up further. But we also don't want diesel in our cities. Right, we don't look. You know, certainly CNG's quieter. Yes. And it's funny, we've had customers that have said, hey, I didn't know my trash was being picked up today because I couldn't hear your trucks. I love that. <laughs> okay, so now I wanted to ask you about this Chinese recycling thing because it's not that important, but people were freaking out about it. China's not taking all the recycling that they used to. But that doesn't necessarily make it so your, your business is hurt. No, I mean, there's three things happening with China. Okay. I mean, first of all, they banned these 24 different items. Th that really has had no effect on it okay, because we don't, right. those we don't... Uh, we don't take to China. The second is that they have not, the Chinese government has not reissued these import licenses. That is having an effect, but fortunately for us, we have a, 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 a broad array of, of customers outside of China, India, Thailand, oh, okay. and, and Vietnam. Call. Okay. So we're able to diversify a bit uh, when things like this happen in China, and this is not unprecedented for China. 
Uh, and then the third thing that's happened is quality controls. And I would tell you, we have Chinese inspectors in our plants in the United States looking at these bales. This is, by the way, largely cardboard, right? And, right. and they're looking at our bales to make sure they're clean. We, we always kind of say that we have the best material going overseas. Uh, there's an old saying that he who has the, the, the best boat survives the storm. Right. And, and we think we have the best boat here. Well, I'm sure. I mean, look, it's just a, a wonderful stock, and it's just a great quarter. I want to congratulate you. Really terrific. You. That's Jim Fish, the president and CEO of Waste Management. I, th I think they've got it set up for a couple of years now. I mean, that's how strong this company is. Mad Money's back after the break. Thank you. Thank you. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.